Hello there, Libra, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So, Happy New Year! We are going to be doing your 2022 Tarot reading today. We're going to take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we're going to move to the Tarot for more details. So, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to um, do the Soul Travelers uh, uh, Oracle cards. <laughs> We're going to do the Soul Traveler's Oracle cards to see the general energy for your ear year. Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past. Heal the present. Lovely. And on the bottom, in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you did a lot of hard work in uh, 2021, Libra. I know from your readings, there was a lot you had to clear out. And, you know, you really have cleared out the past. I feel like you've already done that. There might be a few things that you're still letting go of. But it's this sense of, okay, I've cleared all of that out. And now I can do the deep healing, you know. Um, so it's a nice energy. All right, let's go to your career. What do we have here? Teacher. Really nice. And on the bottom, increase. So for some of you, you could be like going back to school or learning um, more skills. Uh, if, you know, even if you are like trying to start your own business or something like that, finding a mentor. Um, or you could be mentoring somebody else. It's this energy of wanting to... Um, Build more knowledge, build more skill base in your career sector and however that may play out with you because you're trying to increase your financial standing. Really nice. Nice energy. Okay, and I'm also getting the message that this is part of your healing process is, you know, finding joy in your passions, in your work. In what you're creating and what you're putting out into the universe and then clean it up and not for you oh my goodness yeah you know it's that energy of you know this is for your romantic um, love life your relationships it's that sense, and you did this in 2021, but it's that continuing spirit of, you know, looking at the people in your life, even the new people that are coming in and recognizing if somebody's just not in alignment with who you are becoming, then you don't, you don't want to participate in it. It's like, I don't have time for that. I really don't. I've learned those lessons. <laughs> I've gone that path and I really, I'm not going there again. Okay, so we're going to take a look at each of the four quarters. So we'll pull an animal spirit for each quarter. So we'll have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and then October, November, December. And then we'll clarify with the, um, with the tarot. And Libra, if you are resonating with the message or enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. Okay, so let's take a look. First quarter, Sand Piper Spirit, be playful. I love this. And the message I'm getting is that it's time for you to play. <laughs> you did a lot of hard work in 2021. And part of your healing process is just getting back into that joy of life. You know, um, Laughter is the best medicine, and I feel as if you're stepping into this energy of just being more joyful, playful, you know, understanding that part of that, it's not all work <laughs> and no play. It's, you know, make time for work, make time for play. Okay, second quarter, bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Hmm, I'm getting a sense of love here. We will see where that is leading. Okay, so something is returning from the past in the second quarter. So we'll take a look at that. I know, Libra. You're, <laughs> you're like, no, no, I don't want that back. Okay, third quarter, Wombat Spirit, be at home. Yes, this very peaceful scent. I just have this very... Um, peaceful energy and I think 2021 you did have some turmoil perhaps um, in your life and it's kind of like the 2022 is just so much more peaceful 
so much more calming. Okay, and then finally we have Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours. Okay, so, you know, I love this energy because it is one of those lessons. And, you know, we have the teacher here. It's as if somebody or a situation is going to come onto your path that you think you may really want. And then there's a detour, right? And realizing that sometimes the universe just has a way of saying, you know, that's really not the best thing for you. So we're going to take you over here, you know, like, um, you know, rejection is God's protection. And when things like that happen, you know, sometimes I know it's really hard, but we do have to say to ourselves, okay, I'm going to trust in the divine. I'm going to trust in spirit, in the universe. I know the universe has my back. And if they really feel like this isn't meant for me, I'll I'll go with this and see where it leads. And just having that open mind to it. And we have skunk on the bottom, know your worth, and then grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. I really love this energy. It's almost like the fool energy, right? The grasshopper is the fool energy. And then the skunk spirit, to me, I, I'm getting a sense of almost like temperance, king of pentacles. It's like, you know what you're worth. You don't have to shout it from the top of the mountains. <laughs> you just know it. You know, the king of pentacles just sits there and he knows that he's wealthy and stable and reliable, right? And he doesn't need other people around him to tell him that. And because of that, he also has this confidence to take action on new things that may come his way. Honestly, underneath that is Eagle Spirit and it says, Spirit has your back. You know, really, I feel like that is perhaps a lesson that you learned in 2021 was that the universe really has your back. And it's almost as if that is going to make it this year so much more smoother because it says everything is smooth sailing. I think realizing that when things come on your path or things leave your path, that you're going to have a much more open mind to the fact that, okay, that's that it's going to work out for me. Like, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Really nice. Okay, so let's go to the first quarter. We're going to... Um, Use one to row and then we'll come back and clarify. Okay, Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. And then the sun. Okay, some of you may actually be going on some type of, I got a trip. You know, like somewhere warm, tropical, fun. Um, it is about shining your light and understanding that when you are shining your light, that you shine a light that shines light onto others. In order to light up others, we have to shine our light and share it with them and that lights them. And then there's like this ripple effect, right? Um, and I feel like one of the ways that you can do that, Libra, is by stepping into your playful spirit. When you are playful, when you are fun, when you are less serious because you are uh, air sign. So when you come out of your head, you get more active, you're more playful. What happens is that you actually step more into your authentic self. You shine your light and then it just brings more joy to you and to those that are around you. Really nice. It's also a sign of abundance. <laughs> so, um, you know, in material things and also in love. Okay, so let's see what this bat spirit is. You know, a rebirth is reassured, is assured. King of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting, if you, if 2021 was a very trying year for you financially, um, I'm getting that you are going to increase. Remember, we have increase on the bottom here. There is a situation that's coming and it could be, you know, with another person or you could be teaching another person, perhaps making more income that way. But there's somebody that I feel like is going to come on to your path 
that is going to either help you and it could be that you're just going back to school, right? To, to gain more skills so that you can earn more money. But I love this because if you struggled financially in 2021, I feel like this second quarter, like, you know, starting end of March, early April, you're really going to see an increase in your finances. And I think it's interesting because when I was talking about the skunk here, I was saying the king of pentacles, right? Like stepping into your own worth, understanding that you do have enough, that the universe has your back, but also getting, you know, financially stable again. So uh, for some of you that, you know, and the sun is also about abundance, you know, in material things. So uh, financially, it looks like you have good things coming your way. So Wombat Spirit, be at home. Five of Pentacles. Okay, so Five of Pentacles is sometimes a feeling of not having enough. Now, we are going to clarify, this could actually be somebody that's in your life that feels like they don't have enough. It's a sense of feeling abandoned, and yet you have be at home. So we are going to clarify that. That's your third quarter. Um, and in your relationship sectors, you had not for you and um, clean it out. Uh, it could be that, you know, in the third quarter, there is a person or, you know, love situation that you are going to um, be taking another look at more closely. Yeah. And divine detours. Oh, my gosh. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is, you know, what we call the single lady card. The gender doesn't matter. It's this energy of being independent, free, wealthy, <laughs> working on your wealth. And I feel like, you know, we are going to clarify. There could be, yeah, we have the Ten of Swords on the bottom, an ending to something. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Three of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay, so we're going to clarify, but there is this sense that, you know, because the Wombat Spirit, I mean, the Coyote is trust in divine detours. There could be a love connection that you end, okay, this year, um, because we have the ending, but then look at this, like it, it brings in somebody, perhaps from the past, because we have the Six of Cups, that, you know, really is coming back with a lot more love, wants to celebrate with you, wants to work and mend on a, a relationship. Um, so let's go, let's go clarify that. Really, um... I have a sense that there's something here that has to end before that can happen, though. So we'll see what that is. All right. So let's go to the first quarter. We have the sun with the same Piper spirit. So abundance, happiness, joy, four of pentacles, king of pentacles. You have the king of pentacles a lot here, Libra. Um, okay, King of Pentacles is also um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Yes, <laughs> an earth sign. Um, you know, the sun and then we have the earth. I'm, I'm getting this sense of a really a good grounded energy at the beginning of the year. You know, the Four of Pentacles is, um, especially with the King of Pentacles to me, is about holding on to your money or trying to protect your money. And yet at the same time wanting to take action. Um, if you're thinking about investing something, you may be, you know, kind of like holding back a little bit. You want to take action, but I feel like with that King of Pentacles, any decisions that you make, okay, you, you may seek out some advice in that area. You may be wanting to start your own business. King of Pentacles can also be like entrepreneur. You may be wanting to start your own business, holding back a little bit, but taking it slowly. King of Pentacles is a slow, slower energy. 
taking it slowly, but making wise decisions and making decisions that are good for you, not good for other people that are in your life, okay? So if you're in a romantic connection right now or you even have family or friends, some people may be dependent on you with this king of pentacles. So you may feel, you know, like the head of the household type of energy. And you're, you know, you're being very protective of your money because of others. But there's this sense of, you know, I've got to do something for me. Okay. A sense of, you know, you may feel like you spent a lot of time and energy, money, um, on other people in your life for some reason, you know, this it could be your children, it could be your parents, it could be siblings, it could be, you know, you could even feel like you have spent a lot of time and energy on a job, okay? Um, but it's kind of like taking a look at that and saying, yeah, but what am I getting out of this? I want to increase my my financial status it's almost as if i don't want to increase the financial status of those around me <laughs> i want some for me um and not in a selfish way not in a selfish way at all and i feel like for some of you it's because you're coming into understanding that your worth Okay, you may have felt like when you were financially supporting or giving generously to other people that they may not have always had your back, right? They may not have always had your back. And what you're recognizing is that, you know, there's other ways to give to people, you know, your time, your energy, your love. You don't always have to give materially. And I feel like you may have been doing that and you're, there's this shift of, you know, I've given out a lot <laughs> and I've got to almost like hold on to some of it myself because you do have this full energy. It's kind of like, I feel like there's something that you want for yourself, whether that's just financial stability or you want to start your own business, you know. It's kind of like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta look out for me. It's that sense and not in a selfish way at all, Libra. It's just kind of like, I've given a lot and now I want to give to me. I want to build something for me. Okay, so let's see what this King of Pentacles is. Yeah, the world, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, this is lovely, lovely energy. Yeah, getting kind of almost, you know, this truth comes in. Okay, but it's almost like an intuitive, um, I'm getting more of an intuitive type of energy coming into your crown chakra. You know, you could even be, look at this, we have the king of swords, there's your energy, page of cups, two of cups. You know, somebody that is perhaps kind of offering an apology. I feel like you're kind of like going out on this new path saying, I'm going into this for me. And there might be people that come around to say, hey, wait a minute, I'm sorry. You know, like maybe I took advantage of you. Uh, maybe I didn't appreciate you as much. Maybe, you know, um, I only valued you for what you could give me. Now I see that, you know, you have so much to offer in so many different ways. Um, and it really could be even in your career sector that you're feeling that because we have a King of Pentacles here. It's taken a while for you to perhaps figure out what it is that makes you happy, Libra. You know, what is it that makes you happy? Um, you're closing out one chapter and you're opening another chapter. And this is with the bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. I kind of feel like the rebirth is you. It's just you stepping into your power. You stepping into this energy of, okay, I've given to everybody else. And now I'm giving to myself. And almost like forgiving yourself for perhaps being overly generous in a way. Okay, it's, um, you know, sometimes it's a really hard shift <laughs> when people in our lives are ha, kind of almost expect us to dole out whatever it is, right? Um, you know, uh, we've all been there. You know, you have a friend, you have a child or, 
or a sibling that, you know, oh, I can't make rent. Can you help me out? You know, and you give and give. And then there's this part where you, the resentment is there and you're kind of like, no, like, and it's, you've gotten to that point and yet at the same time, you know, maybe part of it is learning how to tell others, hey, you know, I've given to you as much as I possibly can. And now, you know, I'm taking care of me because you do need to take care of yourself. Okay, so let's go to the third quarter where we have this five of pentacles. What do we have here? Oh my, page of wands, inspiration, a message of wanting a new beginning with you. Um, we have the full card though here. I feel like there is somebody coming back around, wanting a fresh start with you, offering love. This is the third quarter. You know, somebody, I think this Five of Pentacles is really somebody coming back and saying that they miss you. Um, and, you know, be at home. <laughs> They're, they could be feeling lonely. You could be also feeling a little bit alone because I think the first half of the year, you're kind of focusing on yourself. Um, they're coming in. They're they're saying, "Hey, I I want to heal." They're bringing in a message. Eight of Wands. They're taking action. They want to heal this connection. Um, I think it's going to throw you a little bit for a loop. There's going to be a little bit of confusion. Taking a look at this, trying to figure out, you know, like why did it end? Why uh, why are we trying to? mend this situation and i am going to take one more on this ten of swords um i do feel there's a lot of fool energy here oh interesting one left oh it's a page of wands yeah i do feel like this is somebody coming in I, okay this is the way i'm feeling about it is that some of you um may feel like you had to focus on you. You're getting your financial situation much better. And then there's like somebody that comes back and, and wants a piece of that pie. <laughs> it's, and I think that that is when you're stepping into this energy of, you know, do you just really want my money or do you really love me? Do you see me for who I am? You know, that energy of... Uh, you know, there's more to me than what I, my bank account. I, I'm getting that sense here. So King of Wands, Five of Cups, the wheel, yeah. Hierophant on the bottom. You know, long-term committed relationship. Um, wanting to turn the wheel. Wanting to take action, being really confident in this, wanting to overcome the sadness and trying to turn the wheel on this. And I don't, you know, you have free will, Libra, but because we have a nine of pentacles here, I feel like this is a lesson um, that is coming in because in the fourth quarter, we have the coyote spirit. I feel like you're going to understand there's this... Uh, kind of epiphany here, if you will, that you understand that this person only wants to come back because of what your financial status is. They may have kind of left you when, you know, in 2021 or even before that, when the your financial status may have, you know, had a decrease for one reason or another, okay? So you had a decrease and then they were kind of like one of these people that it was kind of like, well, okay, you know, they may have stayed in your life, but they kind of like put you on the outskirts or something like that. And now it's kind of like now that you have rebuilt your wealth, <laughs> that you have rebuilt your status, it's almost as if they want to come back in and I think you're going to see them for who they are. You're going to recognize that, you know, d the divine had this person leave your life because they really weren't for you, that there's something better out there for you. But this was a lesson that you needed to learn, that 
you want something that's much deeper than somebody that's superficial and only wants to be a part of your life when your status is so, or you have this job that's so, or a bank account that's so, or can drive this fancy car. Um, and I feel like you have a connection to this person. You know, it's kind of like, you know, there is a lot of passion there because we have the king of wands. Extremely passionate. But you also understand that this is, you know, this is just physical attraction. They may be extremely attractive, right? And they may, you know, be extremely attracted to you. But it's like that energy can't stay around forever. It turns into sadness at some point, right? Um, and you're ready to turn the wheel on that. You're ready to look at things not on a superficial kind of way. You want to go deeper and you want to attract in people that are deeper. Really, um, you know, kind of a deep spiritual lesson. Uh, wow. Yeah, the moon. The divine is working here. This is something um, that you are mastering. You know, the two of pentacles is this energy of do I stay or do I go? You know, do I stay, do I go back to this person or do I stay independent and free? Do I work on what is good for me or do I fall back into, you know, the lovers because this is, you know, extremely passionate, you know, soul connection. Um, and I think you're just juggling between, you know, independence and freedom and, you know, love, <laughs> lusty love. <laughs> uh and, you know, it is recognizing that, you know, the Knight of Swords is somebody that is determined. And it could be you are determined to do what's best for you. Because the Knight of Swords is really looking out for themselves. Very fast action. But it could be that you're recognizing also that others sometimes are only looking out for themselves. Right? Right? So you're learning, um, I think, you know, in 2021 and now into this year, you are mastering this lesson of looking at things that a little bit more deeply and not, you know, not just taking the flashy, easy road <laughs> that you have, you have learned that there is this sense of calm, rejuvenating, healing energy. Um, you're in the flow of recognizing that people that are in your life that really love you for who you are and not what you have, who you are becoming, not what you can offer them materially, those are the type of people that you really want to bring into your life. And, you know, um, Libra, you know, uh, uh, I mean, this is a generalization, but... Sometimes, you know, uh, you are um, a sign that does love beauty, you know, beauty in art, in nature, in people, in style, in lifestyle. You are kind of drawn to the flashy thing. Um, and, you know, I feel like there is this lesson and I don't feel like it's just in people. It could be in your material life, like understanding that. You know, if you love driving a, let's say, a fancy sports car, right? Um, if you really love the car because you love, like, you know, the acceleration or, you know, the joy of it or the shape of the car or something. If you're really enjoying the car, that's one thing. But if you're enjoying the car only because of the status it brings to you, right? then that is something that is really not perhaps in alignment with who you are becoming. It's taking a look at, there's nothing wrong with the fancy sports car as long as it's not like a crutch for trying to show your status to the world and wanting to attract people that want that status. I really feel like you've shifted in 2021 and this year you're really, um, you're putting that into practice. You're really, you're really letting go of people's situations, things, 
belief systems even of you know that don't meet that criteria for you anymore yeah when i lean towards love i am led and once again you know this energy of people coming in and perhaps only where you may feel like they only want you for what you can offer materially okay um is coming from a sense of fear right both on your part and on theirs you know when we're in that position right then it we're making decisions based on fear instead of based on love and i feel like that is where you are this year is that you're making decisions based on love what do i love what do those around me love you know like the love part of it instead of well you know i i better I better give, um, you know, uh, this person more money. You know, my sister, oh, I better give her more money because if I don't, then she might leave my life or I'll feel guilty because I didn't support her. It's about, you know, taking a look at it and asking yourself, what is good for me, right? What is good for me? It's not always good to just give, give, give to others, you know, um, you know, to your sister that needs the rent. Well, if you're always constantly giving to her, then, you know, are you enabling her also, right? It's at some point we do have to um, decide what's good, really good for us. We can't make decisions for others, but we can make decisions. And when we do and do it from a love, right? Do it from love, then you are led divinely. Really um, interesting. Okay, how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? Wow. So I'm going to read the back because I think this is so fitting for this reading. Growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. And, you know, the sense of healing, you know, with this card, Rejuvenating Rain, allowing yourself to love yourself, to see your own worth and not to feel like it's connected to, the, you know, what you financially can offer to the world. And the soul action, look at yourself with a grace filter. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill in that hole with your soul's truth. That you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. Lovely. Might want to journal about that. You know, I think sometimes when we, um, and I think in 2021, you did have kind of one of those years. Um, I think when we get into that place and sometimes when we're coming out of that cycle and you do have the world card here, you have so many positive energies here. And I feel like this could be a year where you are really stepping into that energy of loving yourself, giving back to yourself, taking care of yourself. And realizing that by doing that, you can step more into your light. You can shine more brightly and bring so much more love and light to the universe. Really um, lovely energy. Well, I am very excited for your year ahead. And I also, I'm looking forward to how your readings go throughout uh, 2022. Um to to be on that journey with you i really appreciate it that you're here and that um, perhaps i can be part of your journey and i do wish you happy new year i wish you much love and light and happiness in 2022 and once again if you resonate with the message please consider like commenting or subscribing and i hope to see so much more of you in 2022 bye for now happy new year